the restaurant of many orders. One day, two young fat gentlemen with their two polar bear looking hunting dogs were trekking in the mountains for hunting. However, they did not encounter any game and ended up entering deep in the mountains. Even their guide went astray and disappeared. Their two dogs' heads were spinning and they dropped dead. Dang it! They were very expensive! We were ripped off! said one hunter. Let's call it a day. Anyway, there is no game here! said the other and suggested to go home. They were starving, so they decided to return, but they could not find a way back. They were in a very deep mountain. It's so cold here and I am starving. Same here. I have been sick of walking. They looked around and then found a splendid western style house. There was a sign at the gate saying Western Restaurant Yamaneko. On the door is a message written in gold letters. Anybody is welcomed. Never hesitate, please. Wow, it seems nice. Let's go inside. Well, what an authentic restaurant in such a deep mountain. Pushing the door, they entered inside and found a message on the back side of the door again. We all welcome, especially young men or healthy people. Hey, we seem to be very welcomed here. The two young hunters were pleased. As going down the hallway, they found another door. So many doors does this restaurant have. Haha, -ha, you listen. This is Russian style. Houses in the cold areas are usually built in this way. The door has another message. We have got many orders. Thank you for your understanding. Aha, I see. This restaurant is so popular, so it will take a long time to serve a dish, said one hunter as if he knew everything. They opened the door and found another door. The message on it said, Please comb your hair and clean the dirt off your shoes. One man said, This restaurant is strict about manners. Hmm, it seems quite authentic. As being ordered, two gentlemen cleaned themselves and went down the hallway. Again, there is a next door with a message. Please unload your gun and leave it here. I see. It is certainly a bad manner to eat with a gun. They extracted bullets and left their guns. They entered into the next room. There is again another door. The message said, Please take off your hat, coat, and shoes. They hung what they had worn on the wall. They then found a new message on the next room's door. Please leave your glasses, wallet, and other old ornaments, especially sharp ones, in this room. There was a safe prepared. Indeed, it is dangerous to have sharp ornaments when eating. They were convinced and put their glasses, watches, and other ornaments in the safe. As they proceeded, they found a glass jar with cream inside in front of the next door. The message ordered them again. Please apply this cream on your face, hands, and foot very well. What is this supposed to mean? Aha, you know, this cream is for protecting our body from dry air. It was very cold outside, wasn't it? 
Both of them appreciated the restaurant's hospitality and put a lot of cream on their faces, hands, and feet. They got a bit left over, so they tried to lick it. Interesting, it tastes sweet like milk. The next door said, You will be served soon. Please wear perfume in the glass bottle. Two gentlemen follow the message, but it is surely strange. It smelled like vinegar. They started feeling weird, but anyway went into the next room. The next message said, We are sorry that we gave you a lot of orders. This is the last order. Here is salt in the pot. Please rub salt on your body. What? They looked at each other and recalled all messages they had seen. Hey, don't you think it is weird? Yeah, it is strange. You know, they kept ordering us. It said this was a Western restaurant. But I guess it means they will cook and eat us. Then they heard a whisper from over the door. Darn! They noticed after all. Ha! Huh, because our boss wrote unnecessary things. Two gentlemen were shivering with fear. They tried to escape, but the door did not move at all. Two blue eyes were looking at them from the keyhole of the front door. Dear our guests, please come to this room now. Our boss is waiting for you, wearing napkins and holding a knife. Such scary things were heard. Two gentlemen started crying with fear. At that time, woof, woof, grrr. Their two dogs jumped into the room. Two men were surprised because they believed that their dogs had been dead. The dogs broke the next door and went into the dark. Then, the men heard loud noises from there. Mirror, hiss, grrr. Suddenly, the house vanished like smoke. Two men were just standing naked in the high winds. They were shivering in the cold, and they looked around themselves. They found that their coats, shoes, watches, glasses, and their other belongings were scattered all around. Ah! They screamed. They put on their clothes quickly and ran away. After that, they could go home safe and sound. But... They could not fix their crumpled faces that they had gotten while crying at the restaurant, even after washing with hot water. The End